Hello, Yarnabees. Ah, how are you today? I just woke up, had a shower, got my coffee in my fancy dancy new mug. That's a lot of coffee. <laughs> oh, mm, that first sip of coffee in the morning. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> okay. Today is the sixth, sixth day of the Besties Way to Valentine's Day that I am doing with Sandy Duda at Left is Right Crochet. <sighs> yeah, this is going really fast. It drives me crazy. It's like I just wanted to keep going, you know, it's so much fun. Um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a playlist down below and uh, it's called Bestie's Way to Valentine's Day. You can watch all of her videos and my videos all in one place. So basically we are giving gifts to each other every day up until Valentine's Day. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so I've got a dog right down here. She's excited to see what's going to happen today. <laughs> and here it is. Ooh. Number six. You ready? Okay. Crinkling. <gasps> oh, no way. I have been seeing this on YouTubers channels all over the place and I've always thought I want one. I got one. <laughs> it's the let's roll sign. I love it. I love it. Oh, I can't wait. I gotta, oh, I'm gonna have to put it up here, put it here. Oh, that's awesome. I have, I, oh, I've been so jealous of everybody that goes to Hobby Lobby because I've always wanted the stuff that you guys get there. And um, I think this is from Hobby Lobby. And yeah, I got one. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> that's awesome. But that's not all. She got me. A big pom-pom maker. Big, big pom-pom maker. <laughs> See? I've got the little one. I got the medium-sized one. And then I got one that goes about this big. But this is a big pom-pom. I have no idea how big this makes it. But this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> wow gonna have to figure out how to use it well, I'm pretty sure that it's not that hard it's got to be pretty close to yeah by the looks of it <coughs> excuse me by the looks of it it's pretty similar to the other ones so I am so excited oh that's awesome I'll have to make a pom-pom and show it um on the next video <laughs> This is awesome. I can't believe that. That's so cool. And look, they're exactly the same size. <laughs> so when I opened it, it was like, I couldn't tell. I knew it was round, but that was about it. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I, oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Oh, is that so? Bailey's got things to say, apparently. <laughs> Okay, you guys. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to get that go that up. <laughs> I know it's crazy. It's, you know, being so excited about something, something like that. But you know what? I am, I am such a, what is, I don't even know the word. You know, I want to go to Hobby Lobby so bad it hurts. It's weird. Like, I am so passionate about yarn 
and making stuff. I'm going to show it over here. That'll be another video. Um, and I never... Th okay. I never thought in a million years that I would be that way. When I was growing up and my mom was always knitting, always crocheting, um, <clears throat> I just kind of looked at it like, meh, whatever. You know, I didn't really think about it until my mom passed away. And then all of a sudden I got the urge. So I always say my mom is working through me and making all this stuff. This is not me. This is my mom, you know, and my mom never got to um, enjoy different yarns. She always had to get thrift store yarns. And um, so I think she's just having a ball, literal, a literal ball, making me buy all this yarn. <laughs> and she's just, she's exploring different options. Oh. Bailey, no. She's exploring different options and she's just, she's having the time of her life right now. At least that's the way I want to see it because I, it hurts me so much to know that I can't share this with her. Um, so I, I believe that, you know, my yarn addiction is my mom coming through. So to go to Hobby Lobby, I, I know that if I ever get to a Hobby Lobby, I will cry. I, and maybe I'm sick in the head. Maybe I just, <laughs> I would be so emotional. Um, and I would be there forever. So I don't think I could really take anybody with me <laughs> because I would be there all day just looking at all the yarn. Um. So, yeah, is anybody else like this? I know Canadians are just like, oh my God, Hobby Lobby, you know, um, so I'm right there with them, uh, but I don't know if they've got the same obsession that I do, like, I just, I'm, I, you know, it's weird. Sometimes I think of myself and I go, you're nuts, you're just a nut bar. <laughs> so tell me, do you guys have, like, I'm talking deep down guttural yarn obsession, right? Like, just, oh, like, yeah. Like, I just, I'm, maybe it's because I just don't have a life. And I'm just throwing myself into, you know, just, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird, okay? <laughs> it's just it's weird. Um, so let me know. Do you guys have this too? Like you guys are lucky down in the States. You get to have all the yarn shops. We don't up here. So it's really special when we get something like this that we know came from Hobby Lobby. Ooh, right? So yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. I'm going to go drink my coffee and I got to go to work. So <laughs> Maybe I need to go to work and just, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm hormonal today. I don't know. Okay. I'm going. I love you all. <laughs> now that you guys think I'm really off my rocker. I love you all. I will talk to you tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Don't forget to go over to Sandy's channel and uh, give her some yarny love and see what I got her. Okay. Love you. Bye. Okay, that was really weird, and I was just pouring my heart out, Bailey. I poured my heart out. It was just really creepy. Weird. <laughs> it's creepy weird. <laughs>